I meet my girlfriend I'm like I have to tell them <laughs> <laughs> who's fully in that who? Yeah Don't lie Kula wengine Clear the air, clear the air The first thought was you're pregnant Maybe, most likely <laughs> Omera subscribe to this channel definitely this subscribe Omera ngo definitely this definitely this definitely guys you went there eh definitely this definitely this mi subscribe mi follow mama uko na ndu mi sana nimesema yeah top definitely this na youtube subscribe hiyo subscribe na kuanga in red finya ipo black hiyo kengele Kuku 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 si kubwa kama hiki cho yangu. Tunajua hiyo kitu msungu comedian hii ama ze subscribe to it. Definitely. Daisy mzee tupata na hapo next. Hello guys this is definitely Daisy. Karibuni sana to my channel. Welcome. Welcome karibuni sana if you haven't subscribed fanya hivyo. And if you are new here karibu sana. Karibuni sana. Oh my god I'm very happy today. I have this beautiful people around me siji <laughs> a couple the same watatamia and then we'll continue from there sasa so i'm good mm -hmm. thank you so much for welcoming us to your beautiful channel i'm humbled yeah so you guys if you don't know me go subscribe to my channel i'm melanin v you leave the link in the description please. i will <laughs> <laughs> so go check out my channel and subscribe yeah that's all Sasa. Hey, what's up good people? I am Brand Booker. I'm also a YouTuber. And uh, like Daisy has said, we are a couple. A couple. Yes. Couple. What you fail, what you fail, it's on the What you be to na fanganga zendo wa pendani hivi. Uh, we'll tell you basically this uh, the, the interview is all about that so yeah yes. you guys will get to know so watch this video till the end man stay tuned and yeah. don't forget to subscribe sure yeah. sure so watu huwa wana complain you normally say it's any juice kwa changi yangu spani kamazi hawa watu nimewapatia lakini washasuaga kabla video ianze i feel like she was excited as nice yeah she was actually excited so guys welcome to my channel today we have v and brand buka with me on that kutambia story so as we get along we getting to know them so um okay acha nikuulize can i ask you something yeah you were free to ask okay in your upbringing in relationship na parents so in both of you yeah. are you normally free ama kuna vile you feel that like, like you can't talk about some things I think it's normal for every homestead mm -hmm. if in terms of ama you asking in terms like of for example mm -hmm. when you sit with your parents like for example right now to the election mm -hmm. so you, you might go home you talk about election you talk about who you talk about yeah. Raila blah 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 get it but when it comes to talk about uh, dating ama relationships and blah 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 parents normally make it look like it's a um, scene yeah. it's a taboo <laughs> i don't know how was it with your growing up so for me honestly we've never sat down and talked about it why i don't know it just it just happened you know you know how you'll find friends saying that they usually sit with their parents they talk about it mm -hmm. for me honestly we've never like it has never happened it's not like it's weird or anything of course it's not weird because at one point your parents can tell you <laughs> when you get married find a man who's like this and this such thing but but talking about it at at who are you dating na <laughs> never okay not necessarily who are you dating like the way you can just talk about anything dating sijina kwanga aje how does it go like am i there a day ever told you about the dating life how then? how now <laughs> they have never actually and say i'd say we are free in terms mm -hmm. of and they're not strict by the way they're very simple people are strict. they're not strict <laughs> so for me they're not strict i don't fear them okay. we are very free we'll talk about life we'll, we'll discuss about so many things but when it comes to that i'd say for them they did not introduce us into you know they usually say mm -hmm. your parent is the one who's supposed to guide you yeah, and yeah. they're the ones who are supposed to remove that weird feeling because you know if they've not introduced me for me it would be weird to so bring it up on your own exactly thing. so i feel like for on their side they're the ones who are supposed to 
introduce me and guide me so that I'd, I'd, you know when you introduce your child and you guide them they will not feel we are telling you sure how about you Brian? so about me i think my parents our parents are the most open minded people i think my parents are the most open minded people mm-hmm. yeah that i've met so far because um mostly my mom you know my dad we really talk about that stuff but my mom since we were young even in high school mm-hmm. she could uh, could sit down and then she asked us hey, are you dating uh, are you dating are you not dating high yeah wow. and you should be dating by now and stuff Where and then <laughs> <laughs> and then we could also talk about sex yeah when it comes to sex this is what happens open. yeah this is what happens and then if i suppose you bring a girl home she'll be open with you and tell you hey this girl is not cool because of this 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 and this maybe mm. Uh, a girl cannot st- at this at your age. A girl cannot stay at your home for past six a.m. p.m. because she's supposed to be helping her parents and at stuff home. Yeah, at home. So she's telling this girl is not the right one for you. And um, believe me, after dating for a while, maybe the, the, the girl will find out this is the truth. Yeah, because my mom, we always sit down and, and talk about this stuff. Yeah, every time, each time. Uh, uh, even when I met Melanie V. Yeah, she was the first person I told about it. Yeah, that um, I'm being, dating. yeah, I'm dating, mm-hmm. and she was like, ah, you could, you should come and introduce the girl to us and everything. I think she's a charming. Yeah, she's, she's, yeah, she's, she is. I think so. She is. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Okay, me, I think. Yeah. Parents, African parents, I normally say Africanacity. Yeah. Uh, okay, being open with your kids about dating and relationships and stuff, it's a plus on the side of the kids. Yeah, because like now Brian Booker, you said uh, your mom told you you could bring a girlfriend home, you know? Yeah. So assuming you, you took another person home and she said, ah, this girl, there's something, okay, there's something maybe she didn't like about it. Like she will help you as much as she won't make the decision for you. Yeah. There's that a plus and advantage on the side of the kids, you know? Yeah, yeah true. So V, you said you've never talked, you never had that conversation with it's your It's a family. very weird topic. But right now you're dating, you know? Yeah. Are they aware? Yeah, I actually told my mom. How did you start telling her? Cause considering the fact that you've never had that conversation. Let me tell you, before I even talked about it, I took time to think. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, hectic, I, I, right? it was hectic. You know, this is something you've never done before. Yeah. So before, I, I remember that time she was in the living room, she was actually watching news. I passed there like 10 times. <laughs> How do I think? <laughs> do I do it? How do, you know, I it's know, a right? very weird topic. But then again, you're like, I'm a grown up. Mm. I'm a big girl. I'm not in high school, cause of course in high school yeah, they do like team. in high school. What are you doing? You should be studying. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it was really. I'd say it was a bit challenging. But uh, the one thing that made me realize, Kumbe, it's not that bad. Once I told her, she was. In fact, it, it was very easy to talk about it because she asked me. You felt relieved. She, I felt relieved. She, mm-hmm. she was asking me, who, who um, where is his home? Mm-hmm. How are his parents? Does he have siblings? It's like she was waiting for me to, to tell her. But she could not say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I feel like it's, sometimes it's in your mind. Sometimes we, yeah. as, we as kids overthink it. Maybe they're also, they also feel we are talking about it. Maybe because of their upbringing. They were also, mm. um, they, actually, they actually grew up like that probably. Maybe when they, were, when they were young with their parents, they never talked about it. And they felt that is how a child should grow up also. And that's how... They, they actually took care of us. We've never talked about it. But for me, I usually tell myself, I even tell him, once I have my own kids, I'll always make sure we are open about everything. We won't make anything weird. Being open is yeah. so nice. True. Because this is life. There are some things your kids will do, by the way, mm-hmm. and you won't know because you are being sick. You're telling them, don't do this. Don't do that. You know, and this and is you, something they By doing do. that, you keep pushing them you away. You push them yeah, away. Sure. They'll, that, they'll close you, actually. Yeah, they won't tell you anything. So what was her reaction? How did she react? Did you, did you know, was you know the reaction how, according to expectation? Yeah, because you know for my mom, my mom is usually, how would I put it? She She's that person who minds her business. She won't ask you a lot of questions. Mm. As long as you've just told her the thing that she wanted to say, she'll just ask you, uh, I feel like she was excited. And she was asking, you know, I, she how was I knew, judgy. nah, she was not, mm-hmm. how I knew she was excited, she started asking me, where's his home, mm, she was anxious to get to know him, exactly, 
um had um where is he like in terms of school has he graduated mm. so things like that we have never done that there's, there's this time he decided to uh try bringing up the conversation with my mother but not physically one on one on phone <laughs> so i texted mom can i ask you something na promise out akasivika and then the reaction was like it was not that much welcome and then i was like i don't remember what was it they kind of cut the conversation and did you talk about it did you I like didn't, tell her i didn't oh okay, her the her response was not that much of coming so i pretended that i'd forgotten that i wanted to say but i i did not forget it i was just you just so hey because i'm just you know that feeling that <laughs> but, but, but you, you you know what me i think um like via say sometimes you are afraid for nothing because uh, you know when you ask your parent that can i ask you something and promise to kasirika she uh, she at a lot of things you know yeah in her mind yeah in her mind so the response was not that you know it's different you know and for me i think maybe, for the girl for uh, the girl oh sorry for cutting you but yeah. for me i think her, maybe her, her first thought was you're pregnant maybe most likely <laughs> maybe her <laughs> first <laughs> beat yeah you know <laughs> so the thing is i think um, Uh, you could have just talked to her directly yeah. not tell her that, and that was on phone. you know when you t- <laughs> when you tell somebody that uh, promise to kasirika it yeah. it's just bad it it, yeah somebody's just like oh, what the? so i think you just tell him tell her and also because of the phone you know the phone when you read the message mm-hmm. i can be writing a message with a specific um, mood yeah. and stuff Mm-hmm. but you can read it with a different mood yeah by the way yeah because it's just I, yeah you can just read the text like you want maybe i'm telling you that hey uh, do this and this and, and uh, you feel like hey this guy and party lecture or something yeah. oh. but that's not the intention so i think the that's phone is yeah, his phone is just so good it's, yeah and i think yeah. okay i don't have that courage to face my mom <laughs> mom i have a boyfriend like who you should try it that courage but you know for me I didn't say direct <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that I have a boyfriend. I said I have somebody I want you to meet. Mm. Yes. And she she asked me who is he. I showed him the picture mm. and I I think she already just there too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so that's how I said it. You know it's really hard. Imagine it's hard and don't you guys were But you, I'm sure I you even, felt so much relief after that. Yeah. Thing. Actually I was kind of hey, in my heart I was really afraid. I think that's one of the hardest things I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> and personal teach me your ways <laughs> <laughs> i feel i feel like for us girls it's way easier like for us girls if you find a girl going to introduce a guy to his parents just know that person is serious because it's very hard for a girl to take a boy home okay. it's very hard like have you ever tried because for me i've never no it's very hard so if you see a girl going to introduce a guy to her parents mm-hmm. or taking him home just know this guy is very serious <laughs> that, that that means you are very serious yes. <laughs> <laughs> how did how did you tell the mom that uh you know, start introducing we telling her about her taking her home yeah, the thing is you know whenever i i go home because i take a lot of time in nairobi maybe and whenever i go home mm-hmm. uh my fa- my my mother is always very interested to know what i've been up to what i've been doing mm-hmm. And catching yeah catching up and also always following uh, my emotional part of my life mm-hmm. yeah so my mom asked me hey, son because uh, before i met v i was i was single for almost a year i think and she was aware yeah she was aware that i was mm-hmm. single and so she asked me hey are you still single and everything you know and i was telling her ah, no, like, i know what, <laughs> what, what i want to know yeah like, me, the way i've grown yeah. i've never had that conversation so i want to know how does it start your mother and the conversation you know the, the, the thing is uh, we started talking about these things from kitambo mm. yeah from when we were growing up we from i can say from primary yeah from primary school it can start when you're in campus you just start can. yeah but we started talking about it when you know i have um, i have three sisters mm-hmm. and uh, my uh, elder sisters i have two elder sisters mm-hmm. most of the time me and my kids so are always at home but my because we have a big age difference oh, between us like yeah so most of the time we had me uh, Effie and I were always at home my, my kids is called Effie mm-hmm. so my mom could call us and sit down mm-hmm. start telling us yo when you meet a guy and you when you want to go to a guy's place you always go with your friend 
when you when uh, you don't want to do something that you don't want to just walk out mm -hmm. don't stay there yes, you'll be convinced and mm -hmm. you will do it you know we started talking about those stuff and then mm -hmm. that's how we just became so free with her and we could tell her anything that is happening just open. yeah you could tell her the, the heartbreak that you're having and ask for advice she could tell you, so yeah, that's, do this, that's do this. you with your mom, right? Yeah. So I want to know how about your mom and your sister? Because I feel mm. uh, daughters on a because compared to to the guy, to, to guy, yeah, yeah, to men. How is the conversation? Does she ask about their dating life? Yeah, she, yeah, she always do because, mm -hmm. for example, uh, when we have these talks, maybe if my sister is around, mm -hmm. we we sit all of us. So she asked, hey Brian, are you dating? If are you dating, tell mm -hmm. us about it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then just gives us advice as general for all of us. Wow. Yeah, she's not... Um, she treats you equal. Yeah, like that. She basically she, she's equal yeah, that open-minded, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so telling, introducing me was not that difficult. Ah, it was not difficult. It was it's one like of the... even waiting. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, it's like, you know, she kept telling me that, hey, now I think we should meet this girl, you know? Oh, you said she initially asked you if you're still single and yeah, I told them, someone. yeah, I'm seeing someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I hope everything will be great and everything. So after dating V for like three years, you know, mm -hmm. she was like, "Hey, man, I think we should meet this lady." lady. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know the good thing about your parents meeting the people you're dating is uh, your parents have a lot of experience, sure. and they, are, help, they, they help at some point. Yeah, there's a lot of things they can see that mm -hmm. maybe you cannot see. I don't say that they, they they are right all the time. Of course, you know? they, want, they want to be right. Yeah. So, but if they see them, they have to. They they they'll tell you what they, they think. Judge. Yeah, they can judge. They can judge, and some sometimes they are right, sometimes they are not. But at the end of the day, you are the person who will make your mind. Yeah, yeah they so. will help you out, but you will make the yeah. Mind. So yeah. I was just telling them. I just told them that hey, I've been I'll be coming to my girlfriend home. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's, that's it. So make sure dad is around. But me and my dad, we don't talk much about it because, yeah, I think um, most of the time when we were growing up, my dad was not always around. Oh. Yeah. So he didn't bond that much. Oh. But once in a while, you can talk about it. And in the criticize my the ladies I'm dating and stuff. But <laughs> that's yeah, that's fun. It. Yesterday I was with some guy and he was telling me. Yeah. Uh, because he's a man, yeah. he was he can talk about such things with. His dad and not her mom, his mom. Mm -hmm. So I was like, why? And okay, according to you, you're free with your mom then? Yeah, yeah I'm free with my mom with, uh, more than my dad. Mm -hmm. I can talk in, to my mom about everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, by then I, could, I can also talk to him, but it's it's not that. that you're not that all. That fluid. Okay. It's just. Things won't flow. <laughs> yeah, things are not that flowing. And then my, my dad is always just so straight, you know? Is not the guy who will be patient and yeah. talk to you more. You know, that's so yeah, it's just going straight and hitting yeah. the nail, hitting the nail. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, that's why. He's honest. Yeah, he's direct to the point. Too honest, honest to be true. Okay. <laughs> Somehow I feel like he's like if he is yeah. also very honest. Yeah. I feel like you know, for me when I told him I can't discuss openly with my parents, he was shocked. Like yeah. how now? True. Because he's not seen my my um. The setup I've grown in because mm -hmm. for him they usually so open. Mm -hmm. So for us it's the direct opposite. Now if you are shocked, then you haven't met me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so V, how was it when Brian took Brian took you home? How it was, was amazing. Like, how was the feeling when he told you you're going home? How was was did you were you nervous or were you just happy? Or Don't lie. <laughs> now, of course, you have to be nervous. You know, these are your boyfriend's parents for the first time. You have to, yeah. hey, you have to be very nervous. I was extremely nervous. I was extremely I'm nervous. Sure somebody could say to you, yeah. Even if you go back and check that video, we did a video on his channel, mm -hmm. Grand Booker. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you go and check that channel, you can tell. <laughs> I was extremely, I was extremely, uh, extremely nervous. Uh -huh. And at first, when he told me, he actually said like a joke. At he, she go and visit her parents this yeah. year. But it was me, I knew it was a joke. For real, like, like, for real, it's a joke. Like, how does it happen? He just mentioned mm. randomly. You see how you can randomly mention to a friend, see, we travel. Mm. So he, he just mentioned it randomly. Kume, he was serious. That's when I knew whatever he says, it's serious. This is not even a joke. Not, <laughs> yeah, but not any close to a joke, right? I know. So the first time he told me that, I 
somehow I judged him in terms of I feel like this guy is serious. Mm. Like you can tell because we've dated we've had dated for two years. At that time. From twenty eighteen to yeah. we went to twenty twenty or twenty. Yeah. Three years. Two. It was three years in. Yeah, three years in. Mm-hmm. So um at that time when he told me I felt like we have um this something is this something is serious. But you know of course when you date with somebody for more than you've stayed together for two years, we are now heading to the fifth actually. Mm. You, so you should you be can't expecting something. Exactly. You can't be with somebody for like two years. Let's even let me say from three years. And it's not heading anywhere. Mm. You can just tell. Mm. So when he told me that I felt like he's very serious. And the day we went we travel and it's very far. How many hours did we? It was like nine hours. We shall go. <laughs> nine hours, by the way. So um, the day we travel, we reach there. They're so welcoming. I've mm-hmm. never actually for the first time was like what? Like you need such that a family. You expect that, right? Hey, they're so welcoming, so free. Mm-hmm. Introduced me so freely until I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like so you're nervous for nothing. Like hi meet my girlfriend like okay like you know for me i would i, would, I don't think i, I know that i know that's a feeling <laughs> you know so he introduced me so well they're so welcoming they're very nice mm-hmm. and i enjoyed my stay i was even telling him we need to go back and we went back like was yeah. it a few months later oh to go back visit i told him yeah. i want to go back <laughs> because the was so nice, i said right? that's so nice uh-huh. I feel like I have a second home actually. That's how you So that was the totally opposite of your, what you expected, right? No, because it was not opposite. You were nervous. We, we actually talked to his mom before. Oh, we, we used to talk on phone. Oh. Uh, yeah, so we used to talk on phone, but I'd not, I'd not met her physically. Mm-hmm. So we were already free a bit. Mm-hmm. And but no, you you can be free on phone, but then when you meet physically, you are a bit There's shy. But she was very free, okay. very free. She makes you feel so comfortable. And up to now, I usually tell him, I feel like I'll move into your home. <laughs> 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 I'll move in so there. So the first day you met, the feeling was so nice. Yeah, it's so nice. Together with her mom. And they've, and they've not changed. You know, some people you'd be taken to. Uh, your boyfriend can take you to his home, mm-hmm. and the first day is good. But when you go back, things have changed. It's like I know. it's like they met you when you come to I know. But for him, that, that like that's Consistent. how they are. Yeah, that's how they are. Okay. Yeah. That's so nice. And what did your mom say? Are you okay, considering you said that it was the first time you took your girlfriend yeah. home, right? Yeah. N- not really. Oh, my, my girlfriend yeah. has in V or. Let me see. Oh, you met it on the first time. Kula <laughs> wengine. Yeah. Okay, clear know, the air. Yeah, clear the air. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know it's. Uh, in, yeah, in your life you can date so many people, yeah, you know, be, uh, sure. before maybe you get the the, the, the person that you've settled one. with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so previously I've yeah, it's not my first girlfriend that I'm taking home, mm-hmm. but those ones were not that, that serious. So just um, yeah, those ones, how many? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us. Hey, 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 no, but let me tell you. How know, many? You know, even when I was in high school, I've taken a girl home, but that is just like you're just a kid. You're just a kid. It's mm-hmm. just. It's not but, serious, but you said you, know? you said the girls you were taking home you didn't you never introduced them at this is my girlfriend or this. You're just taking them home. Yeah, we're just going like home, spending time with my mom yet. And then after they have left, then I'm telling my mom, Hey, that's that, that's my girlfriend and she could tell me, Hey, this, this and this mm-hmm. about them, yeah, yeah, you know. But now this uh, when I took my V it was I think it was the most serious relationship that I've taken to my parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and my, first of all, my mom was very happy. Mm-hmm. <coughs> she was very happy because uh, she has been ask, asking me to do that. For uh, a while. Yeah, for a while. Mm-hmm. Telling me, hey, you should just meet your girlfriend so that we, we can link up and maybe bond a bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, because if you guys are really serious, we need to start bonding right now. With the handle time, though. Yeah. <laughs> so my mom was very happy. Uh-huh. My dad was uh, he's a happy man. My dad even knows my dad. Uh, doesn't oh, the it doesn't talk. Doesn't talk much. Oh, yeah, yeah. A man of few words. Yeah, man of few words. Yeah. So. And very straightforward. Very straightforward. <laughs> Ask you, are you serious? Are you serious? Who's fooling who? Yeah, for real. It's yeah. very straightforward. He's actually asking you. He are asked you that when you were together, like he actually asked us, "What's your plan?" Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was thinking that yeah, you guys have dated for three years. Mm. So, my dad was tell, uh, My dad told us that. You guys have dated for three years. I, I, 
I think you should now be planning other things. By other things, you know what I mean. What you mean? Yeah. yeah. So when you were like, uh, you know, uh, was nobody was talking about it. Nobody <laughs> was know, hammering. You know, so tender. yeah. Then it's from all of a sudden, from nowhere. And mm-hmm. now my dad started asking us, and let me know who's fu- who's fooling, who's fooling who. who? Yeah, who's fooling yeah. who? Who? You, you know, for our parents, I feel like yeah. our parents feel like if you date for so long, you're just wasting time. Like, why are you yeah. dating? Uh, why are you it, dating for for ten years? Like, wh- and why? Doing nothing. <laughs> Like what's the essence? But you, but you know, my dad told us that when you date for too long, things will change. Yeah, he actually said that. Yeah. Changing what aspect? Um, people are you don't now you don't uh, do what you used to do. Yeah. Yeah, you just see it's normal. You're mm. not even now working hard anymore towards these people. You're used to each you're other. You're used to each other. You just see, ah, he actually you said. You he know? actually said the friendship will end. Yeah, the friendship. You stop oh. being friends and and you start judging him. You'll be like, mm. he, this guy. Kumbe, he looks like this. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's what so, he said. If yeah. you stay for so long without commitment, yeah, you kind you kind of start to move back and mm-hmm. and and you, you you just stop being serious. You know, you stop thinking about the future. You start thinking about because what it's is normal. Yeah, now. yeah. It's, because yeah, it's, now you're used to this person. You're oh. just like hi. I'm, you could. You know, the chase is sweeter than the catch, like they say. Okay. So you'll stop chasing them, and that kills everything. Because you have them already. I yeah. say, yeah, Just there. I get them, you know, <laughs> okay. at the end of the day. So yeah, that was his idea. I don't know how true it so is. So what was your answer when he asked you who is fooling who and what's your plan? We just laughed. We just laughed about <laughs> really? it. Really? And uh, like my... I'm, 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 I'm assuming, I'm assuming at that point, there's no room for laughter. Ah, <laughs> it's it's just, it was just an easy, easy <laughs> talk. Easy, though. It was just an easy talk. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's you know sometimes my dad can talk. My dad is uh, somebody who is you can see him as a serious person, but he's not that serious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When when, when you, you st- yeah when you, st- you start talking to him, it's just an easy guy. So just as as we just laughed about it and told them, hey man, you guys are You're giving us pressure. 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 Yeah. <laughs> can you just chill, yeah. chill, relax? Yeah, and he started telling me, you know. Me, I got married when I was 25 years old, you know. You're like, that's you. I'm like, <laughs> that when, was how, many how many years, years back? back? <laughs> I know, right? With this economy. <laughs> With this economy, yes. this century, Change man. Yeah, yeah, that's so, yeah, that's, that's, that was it. Okay, that was so much fun. Yeah, it was. You, uh, uh, by now you feel you're part of the family. Actually, I feel like I'm part of them. Okay. Yeah, I am, because even sometimes when anything comes mm. up, the mom would call me, ask me, you know, like she involves me so much. You're her daughter now. Yeah, she actually she actually calls me that. That's so yeah. nice. <laughs> so and, so and, and also, the yeah, man we has met uh, my other uh, family. I, I feel like I've met your my, whole family. My aunt, <laughs> you've been to my aunt, um, my aunt's place, mm-hmm. my uncles, my yeah, yeah other family. I wish I could be that open with my parents. <laughs> I feel, I feel. Like, we should be open, but I don't know how to bring it up. I don't know how to start. And, and it's so know. hard. Let me not even like it's so hard to even start thinking about it because, for example, have you ever just sat down and thought about it and you're like, how will I ever introduce? I think I'll, you know, me used to tell I'll my text parents, and disappear. No, me used to say, me used to say, in But how will you do that? Because this guy, you have to take him home. They like, have to him. be official. Yeah. So how will you do that? You know, you know what I can say about this is um, I think don't overthink it because the moment you start overthinking it, you will not do it. Yeah, you know, yeah. you don't know that feeling, Brad. You've never been in I, that I, 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 yeah, I know, I know I've never been in that situation. I, I know I've never been in that situation. Yeah, and um, what I think is just go for it because at the end of the day, what at your age, yeah. your parents, do you think they don't know that you're dating? It's expected, right? Yeah, it's expected. So the same just, way you fear, yeah. it's the same way they also fear asking you. Yeah. So they leave it in the air. Whoever chooses to pick it and exactly bring it on yeah. the table, yeah. yeah, will do it. So just go ahead and do it and just see. Okay. And imagine yeah. up to now when I go home or even when I'm on the phone with my mom, she'd ask me about him. That's okay. when I realized Kume, Kume is not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> but now they haven't met, right? No, they haven't. Okay. Yeah. That's so nice. That's super duper nice. But I think uh, parents should should be open to their kids. That's why I decided to talk about this. I, I think for a long time it has been continuing and, and I think someone should talk about it. Someone Parents yeah. need to be open with their kids yeah. and 
you know uh, for for girls for example a, a, a parent who is very strict with a, with a girl they don't have that room to talk about anything that girl might, might have a problem uh, any problem maybe it might be about dating or blah 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 but now this girl won't go to her mom to yeah, ask she for advice yeah. because there's no that room yeah maybe she's fearing maybe she would be judged blah 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 okay i think parents just need to change african parents yeah <laughs> so did you tell us what was your, your reaction after you took your you took a girl home with you yeah then but then what what did she talk about it did she say she what was her girl? judgment yeah, yeah she's uh she, she really loved me like me so much i know i'm lovable and uh <laughs> <it's> <laughs> <feeling>. <laughs> <laughs> and each time i go home uh-huh. she always send stuff hey, this is for me and be if it's not for me and be i could have not given you this maybe some food and stuff do you feel jealous <laughs> And I'm Let like, me tell you, don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> don't and, lie. I'm, and I'm like, if it was not because of me, you could have not even, even met them. Like, you would be like, yo, I'm your so, son. Yo, man. You know, yeah, so, and then I'd ask, I asked my, my mom that, why should I carry this stuff? And then you expect me not to eat them. Then man, we should come and take them for ourselves. <laughs> I know. I there, was time, yeah. there was a time she called him. Mm-hmm. They talked a bit. Like just a greeting and then and then um Kujuana to Kujuliana Hari. Then he ge- he told him, Do you ha- is Melanie Lee there? Mm-hmm. Give her the phone. So we talked. We talk better we talk and then we finished the call and like hung, I they, and, and she they, hung up. They she hung up like, the call, like, like, like he was supposed to I was talk. Like, <laughs> and he was like You called she, me. Was she calling me or you? you? I know, right? You called me, you could have called me and we on a phone, not you guys, you know, you feel like, a bit jealous, but then you are I'm so like, happy with right. your girlfriend. It's a nice thing if your if your parents have really love your girlfriend. I know they'll support you, and you guys can get far. I think so. Yeah, yeah it's so it's a nice so feeling. Nice. Yeah. Me, sir, I'm waiting for that Kachere time to. It will. It will. It will. Yeah. It's, it's going down. Way. It's going yeah. down, it's man. It's gonna be yes. so amazing, right? So, V, I uh, do you think um, for you it was not that easy telling your parents that you have a boyfriend, right? So do you think that parents should be open? Ama it was nice the way it has been with you. So, <laughs> so for me, for me it was. Um, I think it's it's way easier when you guys are open. Uh-huh. Imagine for me if, if I'm told to choose between being open and they have grown up, I choose being open because some things I usually wish to tell my mom. To be honest, for real. sometimes I, I I I tell myself. You know, sometimes you feel so stressed. You want to tell her, but then you can't. There's no that rapport. You've never talked about anything, mm-hmm. so you feel like, how will I even start? Mm-hmm. Like, how I will know. I even start? Mm-hmm. And then you know, she's somebody you've never talked about. It. So you, you're just in your mind, you're like, at a kugombanisha. Or oh, really, I'm a victim too. <laughs> <laughs> or she'll tell you, no, don't do that. Or she'll judge you. Instead of guiding bad. you. I know. I you know, parents. but sometimes you're also being too hard on them. You know, we don't have, we don't have to judge them so much yeah. because maybe that's how they also grew up but they grew up in that in that form, in that setting, in that right. setting exactly or they, they maybe they're overprotective they feel maybe my daughter is not ready for this but again by doing that okay love it's a natural thing it will come anyway you cannot turn away from it you cannot go you know for me i usually tell myself what mm-hmm. that's why i think i introduced him mm-hmm. I, I at that time i was telling myself Kwani, how did she get married to my dad? I know, right? See, she went and introduced him home. Uh-huh. So what's hard for me? Like, Kwani, is it a, is it a crime? <laughs> <laughs> is it a crime? It's not a crime. crime. So let me just say it. Mm-hmm. If, chapa, of course she won't. But I can it's up here. But okay, you have yeah. said it. Yeah, I've said it. Some because we were planning to go. I was planning to take him home. Was it last year? Mm-hmm. Yeah, last year. But then some things came up and we could not be able to go, so mm-hmm. we are planning very soon. That's why I said I have to tell them. You know, you have to tell them before. You can't just take somebody home. You, have, right. to tell them. you <laughs> have to tell them first so that they also know. They get ready. Yeah. That's so nice. Okay, I think for me, if I would uh, compare taking my boyfriend home and my boyfriend taking me to their home, I think... Uh, me, me, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> Going to their home would be easier, yeah. but we were taking him home. Yeah. Where we were usually think at times I'll go to we'll go close to my home and then I show how uh, I show him a woman. <laughs> I feel like it's it's not that hard by the way. Don't overthink it. Just know that you already it. did it. Just do it and say 
Aish, what, 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 what's the worst that can happen? Right? Mm-hmm. You know, and but then let me tell you, when you tell her, you realize Kumbe, she was waiting for you to, to tell her. She'll start asking you, um, how is he? Mm-hmm. Has he studied in school? Mm-hmm. Um, did he graduate? Where was he? Oh, he hey, my mom asked me questions by the way. It's like yeah. she was waiting. <laughs> I know. So, but, but then she couldn't ask you. Yeah. Even up to even the next day, when I woke up the next day, she started asking me now, and she's smiling. <laughs> I'm assuming she she slept the whole night thinking about yeah. it, imagining how this guy looks like. Where yeah. does he come from? And you know, for me, and you know, for me, it's easier to talk to my mom than my dad. Mm. So I Same never to talked me. about it to my dad. I just told my mom, mm. "You'll go and tell him." <laughs> <laughs> that's a responsibility. That's I'm now you are. You'll go and tell him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that that has been so nice for you guys. I really wish I could be having that openness. I feel like I've not I've not gotten there yet. Yeah. But at least I'm not you're, you're a step ahead. I'm I'm like no, I'm looking up to you. I'm looking up to you. <laughs> <laughs> you should do it. And yeah. one of my friends actually um dared me. She told me if you do it, I will send you money. For real? Yeah. And she did. Where now? <laughs> hey, give me her number. Give me her number. She told me. She told me if I do it, she mm-hmm. will um, send me some money. She, she just bought me lunch. Oh, yeah. but that's so nice. At least she motivated you. Yeah, she did. And you did it. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. We, we had a very nice and amazing, a uh, good story from these people. And you guys, I think, I think African parents need to be open with their kids. Sure. I don't know what you think. Comment and tell me about that. So you guys could say something before we end the video. Do you, do you, think, do you think it should be African <coughs> parents should be open or us we should also be open with them according to me i think it's the way our parents bring us up because as for me our parents i think i think i think i don't know i think (laughs) they instilled fear in us in the name of respect so you don't get to have that open conversation with the parents like 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 for you like for you how did that rigidness start (coughs) when did you feel like i can't tell this woman you know she's your mom but in your mind you're like i can't tell this woman anything (laughs) she'll just judge me (laughs) i think it's from the beginning from okay i don't know way back from when i was young we used to fear our parents like i don't know but later i came to realize it's not respect it's kind of fear but we grew up knowing that's respect but uh, for him you know for for brian usually he usually tells me Mm -hmm. And that's a very nice upbringing because if she used to tell me at they used Which to fear so the nice. mom, mm-hmm. but they're also free. Like how oh, does, does it happen? <laughs> you know, like like, they look like two you can you things. can't do yeah. any mistake because she will. She's she dangerous. Just bad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but she's also they're also free. How does it? You, happen? you know the thing when it, when it comes to punishment, she will punish you like hell. Mm. But um, when. Not, when nothing is going on, everything is fine. She will just connect and bond with you guys and talk, you know. So I think, uh, I think it starts with the parents. It's not. Uh, it comes us. from the parents. Right? Yeah, it starts with the parents, mm-hmm. because when your parent is not uh, talking to you about this stuff, it will it will be so difficult for you to talk to them about it. Mm-hmm. So I think it starts with the parents because, yeah, They're like my mom always too, says, yeah. you you start. Uh, getting close to and uh, open, being open with your kids from day one when they are born. Sure. Yeah, start telling them. Just start talking to them. Mm-hmm. Even they're not listening, but you start talking to them at that moment, and then you bond from day one. To make them free. Yeah. yeah. So I was I think, actually watching mm-hmm. a video from Nana Witi, and yeah. she was talking about it. Yeah. So I think it it comes from the parents. It right? comes from the parents. Yeah. How your kid would go to school and they come back in the evening, you'd be like, who's how have you been? How was Who disturbed you? Yeah. Was there a boy who did anything bad to you? You know, that's how it starts. Because yeah. how do you expect me to talk about it when you've never yeah. had that conversation? It's a very weird topic. It's weird now. It's very weird. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's okay. That's so nice. That's so amazing. So I think you guys uh, agree with me that oh, okay, agree with us yeah. that parents should the freedom should come from yeah, the parents. It should. Like I think uh, your parents should be the source of everything new that you learn. Yeah. yeah. Like you know they're the ones who who teach you most of the things. Really, yeah. yeah. Mm. They're the ones who taught you how to talk. Mm. They taught you how to use the toilet. They taught you how to do basically everything. everything. Yeah. But when it comes to love, they think it's I don't know, a sin. But I think they should be open. They should change. I feel like their they, ways they, of they, they also take us like the same way they are uh, 
they feel like you're a small child. You yeah, forever yeah, you yeah, will never be a child. <laughs> you are 30 but they still feel like you're a baby. Yeah, yeah I know. So guys, I think that is it. Do you have something to tell our fans before we end the video? Yeah. I can tell them something. Okay. So I think um, apart from talking about what parents should do, I think us, you, you should also do better when we come of when that time comes, yeah. I think we should do better than our parents and uh, try to be more open and not just uh, continue talking about our parents uh -huh. because, uh, you know, uh, we can continue talking about it and then not do anything about it. Sure. At, at the end of the day, it's just the same thing going on for years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the, the, this whole thing started with the white money, if I can say it, because a long time ago, there's this uh, informal education where you could see it with your, the, your grandfathers and all, they tell you relationship and everything. But after this formal maneno came, yeah, and and now it's, you stay in school for years and years, learning things that will not help you much. But yeah, that's it. We need to change, because <laughs> of the next yeah, generation of parents. Right? Yeah, yeah, it needs to change. Okay. Yeah. For me, it has to. I always t tell myself mm. that. I like will with your kids, always, you'll be very free. Always be free. Same to me. I will make sure they, they don't fear me at any point in their life. Yeah. But then you are, in fact, you should be the first person your child calls you when they're stressed. For you real. You should be a friend to them, not not that you're, you're not just a parent, you're a friend. The best friend yeah. and a parent. Yeah, so guys, that's it for today. Uh, I'm sure these are very nice. By the time you're watching this, you have watched the whole of it to the end. So thank you for staying with me. Kindly subscribe, share, like, and comment. Huku, to the time buy a tago. So we say together. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, in three, two, one. Bye! Bye. <laughs>